Do you have a folder where you drop Google Sheets, or maybe even on a daily basis, and you need to import them into a main Google Sheet? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to write a app script that will automatically parse that folder and import all the data into your Google Sheet. And I'll even show you how to split it by tab if you need to do that as well. And then once the script is done, it will automatically parse all that data into your main Google Sheet. And then it can also move or delete those files from your Google Drive. So let's jump right in. So let's go ahead and create our app script on our main Google Sheet here. And while that's creating, I'm gonna come over here. So in this main folder where our Google files will be, we want to copy this ID. So everything after that folders and forward slash. And then in our script, once this is created, we can go ahead and call this script project or you can call it files, whatever you want to. And then at the top of this, we're gonna create a couple constants for that file ID and then that archive ID. So we do that by doing C-O-N-S-T. And then here I'm gonna do folder ID equals and then paste that in there. And then for our next one, I'm gonna do our archive folder but I will show you also how to delete it if you prefer that instead of moving them to an archive folder. So if we want to do an archive folder, then we'll grab this one and copy this ID here and we'll paste that in there. And then finally, I'm going to take our tab name here. So we'll call this target tab equals data. All right, so that's all we need to get started. And so I'm gonna call this function process files. And then I don't want it to run it from back here. I wanna be able to run it from a menu. So before I jump in there, I'm gonna create a menu real quick. And we do this using an on open function. So just like that. And then inside here, we can access the user interface of the spreadsheet by doing spreadsheet app dot get UI. And then we can use that to create a menu. We're gonna call this menu script menu, and then dot add item. And then we can do our process files. And then in here in this add item, we have the caption and then the function name. And so this would then be the same as what we have down here. So process files. And then outside of that, we do dot and add to UI. And so let's go ahead and jump in here and start pulling this together. So first thing we need to do is get our folder, this folder right here. And so we'll assign that to a variable called folder. And then we use the drive app method and we'll get folder by ID. And then we have that folder ID right here. So I can copy and paste that in there. And then we'll get the files inside that folder by doing folder dot get files, just like that. And now that we have a list of the files, we can use a while loop. And then in here, we'll do files as next. And this is the file iterator in drive app method. So then we can reference our first file by file is files next. And so for each file in that folder, we'll assign it to this file and then we'll process it. We need to get the data out of that Google file and add it to our main one. And so what we're gonna do is open it as a Google Sheet. And so we'll start with source SS for spreadsheet and then we'll do spreadsheet app, open by ID, and then we'll get that ID from that file. So this would be get ID, just like that. So that will open up that file as a spreadsheet. And then we need to get that first tab. So we're assuming in this case that you're probably dynamically automatically generating these. So it's just gonna have data on that first tab. And so we don't need to even know the name. What we'll do is source sheet equals source SS, get sheets, which will get all the tabs or sheets in that. 
And then we're just going to grab that first one with this reference. So that will get our first tab or sheet in each Google Sheet. And then we can get that data from there. So let data source sheet get data range and then get values. And then I'm just going to shift the data to get rid of that header because if we go in here, each of these has this top row. And so when we do shift, it's going to remove that. So we're not copying that each time. Now, if it does not have that, then you can just omit this row. So now we have the data we want to add to this. And so we're going to first get our Google Sheet just right here. So we'll just do SS spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet, and then we'll get our sheet. And we'll do sheet by name. And then we have our target tab variable there. So now we have our source sheet. I'm doing it outside of my while loop. So each time I check a new file, I'm not redoing this. So we have our data. So we can just add it to our sheet. And so we'll do that by sheet.getRange. And then we want to add it to the bottom. So let's go ahead and use this sheet get last row method. And that's going to find the bottom row and then add one. So we're not overriding the bottom row. We'll start in column one. The number of rows will be the length of our data array. So data dot length. And then we can just dynamically set the width by looking at the first element in that array and then find the length of that. So finally, we can do dot set values of data. So this is actually all that we need to do the basic process. And so let's go ahead and run this. And then I'm going to show you a couple ways to add a little more functionality to this. So I'm just going to pick this on open. And then this will both authorize it and add the menu. And so we'll just do review permissions, pick our email account. And then you get this error whenever you're doing a custom script in Google. So obviously, if you programmed it, then you're going to be good to go. So go to advanced, go to skip project. And then this tells you what it wants access to. So Google Drive to access those files and then Google Sheets so we can get that data and paste it in here. So continue and then that should be good to go. So if we go back to our main file, looks like maybe drop the zoom. There we go. So there's our script menu. So if I click process files, it's going to iterate through each one and pull the data in. So we can see it's adding data now. It's still processing through the rest and now it's done. So if we scroll down through, we can see it added that data. So if we go to this one, we can see there's that 4,000 row, 3,000 and so forth. So if we go to our main file, you can see we have one and we go down to 5,000. So we have all the data now. And so I'm going to go ahead and delete it just so we're not keep overwriting this. And let's add a little more functionality. So first of all, it was just kind of sitting there, so we didn't know what it's doing. So one of the things I'm going to do is what's called a toast. So we can do this off of our spreadsheet app method dot toast, and then we can do a message. So I'm going to use what's called a template literal. So I'm going to use back ticks, which is above the tab key. And so you can see it's like a single quote, but it's slanted backwards a little bit. And what this allows us to do is we can add some text, but then we can insert a variable. So we have this file here. So that's not directly useful, but I can do this dollar sign and then curly braces. And then inside here, I can do file dot get name. And then it's going to tell me what file it's working on. And then after this template literal here, I'm going to go dot 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 just to give the indication that it's processing. And then in our toast, we can then put a title. So I'll just put status. And then finally, we can do how long we want to sit. And so I'm going to do negative one because that just means it's going to stay that until it's overwritten. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to do SS toast. And this will be our finished one. So we'll just say completed status. And then here, maybe a five second. And then right click. Let's just do format document. Get that tab in a little bit. So that's just going to give us a little message. 
So if we run this again, now we should see a little pop up down here telling us what file it's processing. And so that gives a little more visual of what's happening as it goes. So next, let's look at our files. So right now it's pulling the data from these files, but it's not doing anything with them. So we have this archive folder, and I'll show you how to move the files into that folder, but real quick, because it's really fast, I'm gonna show you how to just delete them if you don't want to save them. And it would just be file, set trashed, and true. So this very simple line will then trash the file after you're done. Otherwise, if you want to move it, so I'm just going to put two forward slashes, and this means this won't run. And then here, let's instead do file move to, and then we need a folder. So we have our original folder that we're working from, but we have our archive folder ID here, so we just need to bring it in. So we could use two rows and we do one row let folder equals whatever, but we're just going to do it all in one. So drive app and then get folder. So make sure you do folder, not file, folder by ID. And then we can use that archive folder right there. So if I start typing archive, I should see that I can click that. And then there we go. So whenever you make a change, make sure you save project to drive before continuing. And now if we look at our files, it should move these when we're done into this archive folder. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and run this script again. And again, we'll see our status over here. This time it's running them out of order. And sometimes it will do that. It won't always run them in the same order that they show up in your folder. And so you may need to do a sorting or something like that afterwards if you need them to be in order. So once it's finished processing, then we can take a look again and looks to be all in there. And so one thing, if we want to add a sort, so for example, if this row column should be sequential, like one to 5,000, then what we could do is after we're done, we could just add a sort function. And so we would just take basically this similar method here, sheet.getRange, and then here we want to start at two because we don't want to sort this into it. So we can start at row two, column one, and then number rows, sheet dot get last row. And then this would be minus one because we're starting on row two, not where one, and then comma, and then sheet dot get last column. And then here, what we want to do is a sort function, and then to sort by column one in ascending order, we just do one inside those parentheses, just like that. All right, so before we close this video, I want to show you how to do one last modification. And it's if all the data doesn't go on the same tab. So as example is based on the title of the file to move it into a specific tab. And so the way we would do that is let's say this was tab one and it could be store one, whatever it is, right? And so let's rename this one tab two. So in this file, let's go ahead and delete our data. And then we're going to call this tab one. And we'll duplicate it and call this tab two. And then let's go ahead and do this for the rest of these real quick. And I just want to show you how this would work. So we'll call this tab three. So this will work great if you have different sheets for different stores or different lead sources and you want to route them accordingly. So we have a tab for each one and then we have the file names that correspond. And so in this case, what we do then is we wouldn't have this target tab and we could still use that archive folder if we want. But what we're gonna do in this instance is we get our file and then we're going to process the file, right? And so we can get our source sheet. So we can still get our source spreadsheet and our source sheet. We can still get our data and shift that. But here, instead of this being our target sheet, we're going to come down here and we'll do let sheet is equal to ss.get 
sheet by name. And then we're going to get the name of the file just like that. So what this will do is the file name. So tab one, we'll use it then as our tab name. And so let's go ahead and check this out. So one more thing that won't work here is this. We'd have to iterate through each sheet to do that. So let's go ahead and remove it for now. And then let's go ahead and check this out. So now you can see we have some data in here. And if we go through these different tabs, you can see that data is coming through just like that. And so that'd be an easy way if you need to route data. And then if tomorrow you had a new set of data for each of those tabs, then you could run this again in the next day and it would add them to the bottom of these. So that'd be a quick way for you to be able to do that. So finally, let me just show you how to add a daily trigger for this. And so go here to triggers and then add a trigger. And then make sure to check that process files. And then come down here and do time driven. And then here we're going to do a day timer and then you can select the time of day. Now, another thing you could do is you could also do a week timer and run it on a certain day of the week as well. And so whichever works for you, you can do a day timer and then you can select what time of day you want that to run. And so once you've selected that time, then you can just click save. And now this will run automatically every day and process any files into your Google Sheet. All right, so that is it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.